Rise and grind gamers, my name is Tetsumi, and welcome back to episode 25 of our Terraria Calamity playthrough. So guys, right off the bat, this episode has already been failed. Uh, I- <laughs> basically, I already recorded, like, the first one-third of this episode, but, uh, I- I'm a bit- I'm a bit stupid, and I'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, but basically, I had to scrap the whole, like, first part of the episode because I- I did some dumb stuff. Uh, so basically what I did is- oh yeah, by the way guys, uh, just right off the bat, I already made the quick Asgard's Valor and the status ninja belt. Uh, I did that the, in the failed part of this episode, which I'm not, you know, putting in because it's failed. Uh, and also I got this off camera. Uh, I was trying to, you know, practice fighting the Leviathan and I think this thing dropped from it. Uh, I didn't kill it, obviously. It just, like, when it spawned in, I think this dropped it. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I'm- I don't really- I'm just- I- I'm not- I don't know. I'm not gonna equip it. It's just- I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, <laughs> so basically, Tetsumi, come on, get to the- get to the good stuff. Why has this episode already been failed? So basically, guys, if you see in here, uh, I have this new item. It's called the- uh, Ed Ediolon Tablet, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, but basically this drops from guys in the dungeon over here because I've also gone into the dungeon to upgrade our character a bit, uh, and basically this drops from these guys in the dungeon, I'll try and show you this guy, uh, and basically what you use this for is it's used to spawn a lunar event, like the nebula pillars and all that stuff. Uh, basically, it's it's used to spawn all this stuff, but, uh, and, you know, in the episode, I was gonna, you know, plan on doing that so I could make the, uh, the Teratomir, that's what it's called, uh, because the last thing I need is Meld Blobs, which you get from the Nebula Pillar, uh, but the problem is, when you spawn this thing in, it doesn't just spawn in these pillars, it spawns in the Lunatic Cultist, so you have to beat the Lunatic Cultist in order for you to get the pillars, uh, and that's what I didn't know, so that's, that's already, like, one part of the episode failed, and then, like, I mean, that's pretty much it. That, like, my whole entire plan for the episode was to, to spawn in these things, take down the pillars, upgrade this sword into some really good god sword, and then, you know, easily take down, like, Levi Leviathan and Astrum Deus. Uh, but since we can't really do that right now, uh, I figured the next best thing right now is, uh, we can take down Golem. Uh, I practiced Golem a little bit too. Golem is just, like, uh, he's super easy, you know? A any version of Golem you face is gonna be easy, guys. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, Golem, I love you, my guy, but, like, you just, you gotta step it up, come on. Uh, I mean, look, look at this. We, we almost beat you in this tiny little arena. Like, come on, dude. Uh, so, basically, yeah, to progress, we, uh, we need to take down Golem, and then we need to get the Pixaw. And with the Pixaw, we can go into the Abyss over here and mine a new kind of ore, which I think, actually, I have it on my phone. Um, it is called, let's see, Chaotic Ore. So we need to get Chaotic Ore, and that'll allow us to get a new armor set, and, uh, basically, hopefully that should be easy for us to beat Leviathan with. Uh, but yeah, that's our plan, so, uh, I guess we'll get ready, we'll go down into the, uh, the temple, and we'll see if we can take down the, the golem. I forgot his name. Alright guys, so here we are in the temple, and like I said, I have been doing this fight like a few times off camera, and we should be good to take on Gollum right now, like he's honestly not too much harder than he normally is, uh, so I think we can go ahead and buff up, let's uh, re-equip this globe thing so like it doesn't have that weird timer, I don't know why it does that. Like, when I press B to give all my buffs, it, like, it puts this globe thing on, but then it gives it, like, one minute of a timer, but if you just, like, equipped it normally, it doesn't have a timer. So, I don't, I don't really know what that, what that's about. Uh, so we can put this thing down, and also, I forgot to mention, we got this Wrath of the Ancients, which, uh, I'm pretty sure is a normal, okay, no, it's not a normal item, it's a Calamity item, uh, but basically it does this, and it's like a little summoning weapon, so, uh, these things will all home in on enemies, and I like to combo this with this thing just because they look cool together. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on with this fight. Should be pretty easy. Uh, I, I really don't see why this will be much of a threat, uh, honestly. Like, look, we, we're pretty much shredding this first phase, and the second phase, all we've got to worry about really is dodging his, uh, his main head lasers, pretty much. Uh, his lasers do a lot of damage. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to unequip that, uh, that thing. Uh, I, <laughs> real good, Tetsumi, that thing, they're definitely gonna know what you're talking about. Uh, the thing that makes bosses, like, do a bit more damage to you and critically hit you and stuff, uh, I forgot what it's called, but, uh, I'll show you guys in a minute when I hopefully take down this boss, because, honestly, I still feel like I'm gonna win. I should probably put on a heal, though, because I think at that much health you can kill me in one shot. Uh, I, I don't really know. Uh, but, okay, hold on, let me get rid of, uh, let me get rid of these guys, I probably should be paying attention, but I think they were taking up all the hitboxes from my sword, uh, I, I don't really know. Uh, let's go ahead and put that down too, this, this, this fight's going really well, guys, like, honestly, look at this, that did, okay, that didn't actually do too much damage, I thought it would do a lot more. Uh, but we're still, we're still chillin', we're still chillin', it's, it's half health, uh, I think we got this pretty much, guys. Uh, so let me go ahead and cut here, and we'll see if I win or if I die. 
All right, guys, I'm going to bring it in back here because we just got adrenaline. We're going to go ahead and shred this thing, and there we go. We did it. Oh, we got the picks on our first try, too. Nice. So I actually bought extra or brought extra uh, lizard power cells uh, just in case we didn't get the picks off. But there we go. We got everything we need. Perfect. Uh, nice. Okay. So uh, I guess we'll just open this treasure bag here because I don't know if I actually do want to do this fight a few more times. Uh, so Golem, to think my people were, uh, to think my people once worshipped this thing as a god. We have come far since the, those ancient times. Wow, I am still just as bad as talking as ever. Maybe it's my, it's like my character trait on YouTube at this point, honestly. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up this treasure bag. Bam. So we got the spiked shiny stone and we got the sunstone. That is actually, is that we need the Golem eye, I think, and then like. Uh, what is this thing actually? Uh, molecular re replicator. Uh, restores life of nearby friendly NPCs while placed. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can put that in my base, but uh, I don't really need that stuff. Uh, and th whoa, okay, this is this is way late game. So I guess I guess we need this and then the golem eye, right? And then we can make this thing. Uh, this the wh where is it? it? I don't I don't even know what I'm looking for, honestly, guys. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? I think I am gonna do the golem fight a few more times. Uh, so I'll just cut it and uh, well, hopefully we can actually beat it two more times. All right, guys. So we managed to defeat it two more times. That was super easy. Like honestly, golem is just—it's just not a challenge. I know I keep like harping on the guy, but I mean, come on, my guy. Like w when we gotta fight people like uh, like calamitous, like before we fight golem, that's just that's just not right you know uh so let's go ahead and did i move one of my dies i think i almost did but i put it back uh all right so let's go ahead and put most of this stuff away uh looks like i got a perfection token that's pretty cool uh don't think i'm gonna use that though honestly uh let's go ahead and get rid of our light pickaxe for the pick saw i think that does 10 percent more pickaxe power perfect uh let's go ahead and put all this stuff away uh, oh, I think we can actually combine our notes now, so I might go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and open the last of these. Hey, I got the Loki set again. Nice. And there we go. I got the Eye of the Golem. Uh, so this is the thing that I think combines into a good accessory. Well, I know it combines into the Destroyer Emblem, but this, uh, doesn't this combine into a- I honestly forget what all this stuff does, guys. <laughs> there is so many more accessories in, in Calamity Mod. It's just like, I, I don't know what all of them do, guys. So now that we finally have the Pixel, we can go into the Abyss and mine some of that Chaotic Ore. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and reforge this hopefully to light because i think we're gonna be using this pickaxe for a while forceful don't need don't need dull forceful weak dull dull can i get something other than forceful dull or weak please come on B bulky savage does savage do speed uh it does not okay uh, unpleasant Ugh, i don't want an unpleasant one slow no come on just give me give me uh what's it i honestly forgot it this does speed i'm pretty sure yeah legendary okay i'll take that and uh we should also reforge this terra edge because it's been on nimble for a while and while speed is good i feel like just legendary we should really have on this thing wow there we go our second reforge and we got legendary that's up to almost 300 damage like base damage that's crazy uh actually let's go over ahead here let's see how much damage is this does well over 3000 okay that is nice that is nice uh, Alright, so uh, uh, as you guys can see, probably my accessories, I also have the armored arctic diving gear, and uh, I made that off camera just so I could go and check out the abyss, and uh, there's there's not really much we could do without this pickaxe, so I figured now now that we have this, we can use this thing, and uh, we can go in there, so let's go ahead and go over to the abyss, I think... Uh, I think we can actually uh, get a potion from from our Horus guy over here. Uh, can I, if I can, you know, get into his room? There we go. So uh, if I do, yeah, ocean teleportation potion. Let's do this, and here we go. Now we're in the abyss. Perfect. Uh, nice. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and uh, put on the Arctic diving gear. And what else? I can turn that back off. And yeah, this should be everything I need. I'm gonna put on a. Oops. Uh, don't know why I fell there. Uh, I'm going to put on a... I th actually, I don't think sunshine potions even work in the list, but maybe... Okay, can I... Why do I keep falling through the water? Uh, let's put on... Uh, uh, bro, what? Did I even put on the potion? I think I did. Uh, anyway, let's go on ahead and go down here, uh, and hopefully we can find some of that chaotic ore. I'm pretty sure it's just the red ore that, like, spawns fireballs underneath it. Um, I know that sounds weird, but guys, it, 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 that's pretty much what happens. Uh, so let's see we got in you know what I'm actually gonna take off the Zen potion because this stuff is cool Oh, yeah, look there's already a fish that dropped some of it nice So with this what can we actually make we can make the chaotic bars obviously uh, we can make bars of oh We can make bars of life like right now nice. That's a huge upgrade for us and yeah Oh, you know what I forgot to do guys I I completely forgot to go and uh, get the uh, the shadow key for these chests But anyway guys this down here and this up here is chaotic ore, so we can go ahead and mine that all right now perfect and uh honestly we should be able to get a lot of this stuff because this stuff is like it's plentiful there is so much everywhere and those are the fireballs i was talking about guys so now now hopefully you believe me <laughs> all right guys i think i'm just gonna go ahead and mine a bunch of this stuff i'm gonna open up a bunch of these shadow chests and i'll come back and show you guys what i got
Whoa, okay, alright guys, so, um, uh, I, I died to whatever the hell this thing is, and now it's, it's just in my base chilling. Okay, oh, okay, um, I'm scared. Uh, I guess I'll take this thing down? Is it leaving? Where's it going? Is it going? What the, no, oh, okay, I, so I guess it's just circling around then? Uh, can I just, like, chip away at its health? Uh, oh, whoa, that did a lot of damage. Is it, is it gonna, is it leaving now? Is it gone? What? No, it's still, is it still, okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what, I'm, I'm game, I'll kill you. Uh, wherever you are. Uh, actually, I don't know if I can kill you, because you seem really strong. Uh, and I think you one-shot me. You do. You do. Okay, I'll give you that. You might one-shot me, but I'm, I'm, do you also regen health? No, you don't. I just do no damage. Okay, you know what, guys? I... I, okay, now it's gone. Nope, now, it, now it's gone. Now it decides it wants to kill me twice and then leave. Okay, you know what? Well, I didn't ask for you to spawn and then spawn in my base. So, okay. <laughs> so, it looks like this is all the stuff we managed to get. Uh, how much catacord did we get? We got 251. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how much it takes to make a bar. I assume five. Uh, it does take five. Okay, so that's a, that's a decent amount of bars. Uh, that should be enough for what we want to make. So, let's see what else we got. We got... Uh, torrential tier summons the rain. Rain will start sometime after this item is used. If used when raining, the rain will stop sometime after this item is used. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we already have stuff from the juiced mod that does that, though, so I don't really need this. Uh, then we got a ruthless ball of fugu? Fuju? I don't- I don't really know. Uh, 69 melee damage. Nice. Uh, and, uh, nice. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see what this does. Uh, looks like it fires some- uh, some of these things. Does it maybe home? Oh yeah, also guys, because we defeated Golem, we get tier 5 loot bags now. That's crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead and spawn one of these dummies in, and let's go ahead and see what this thing does. Does it home in on enemies? It does not. Okay, that's- that's cool though. Uh, it doesn't home in on enemies, but you know what? That's still pretty cool. It looks like it has a debuff that it gives, but I don't really know what that is. Uh, is it, like, Abyss debuff or something? Because I know the Abyss gives a debuff. I, I don't really know. Uh, then we got, the uh, we got a, like, like, a Toad? I don't know what that is. Uh, Black Anarian? Uh, 53 magic damage, uh, uses 9 mana, and it's... Are those leeches? Oh my god. <laughs> so it shoots leeches and bubbles. That is... That's really cool, actually. I really like this weapon. Uh, I thought it was gonna shoot like frogs like that other weapon we got did a while ago, uh, but I guess not. And then we also got some sunken stew. Uh, restores 200, 120 life and 150 mana. Causes potion sickness for 50, uh, 37 with philosopher's, philosopher's stone, uh, uh, seconds instead of 60. So it's like a slightly better or slightly worse healing potion. I don't really know. I'm probably not gonna use it though. And, uh, oh, we also got menacing ana anechoic plating? Uh, material reduces creatures ability to attack you in the abyss. Oh, you know what? I think this is for the abyssal diving gear Uh, it's it is kind of it's for the abyssal diving suit. So what do we need for that? We need the abyssal diving gear. Uh, we need one of those. We need iron boots Uh, luminite. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to make that for a little bit Uh, but that's pretty cool. So what is in these tier 5? Okay, I gotta I honestly after Okay, so when I was trying to make the status ninja belt, uh, the last thing I needed was a tabby, right? Uh, so it took me a while to get a tabby, and then after I got it, and after I made it, every bone lee would drop a tabby. Like, that's just- that just happens, you know? When you're- whenever you're playing a game and you want something, it'll never happen, and then once you get it, it- it'll- like, it'll happen a lot. Uh, so anyway guys, let's put the chaotic ore in here. Let's go ahead and see how many chaotic bars we can make. I don't even know what they look like. Uh, I assume they're called chaotic bars, right? Uh, that's not how you spell chaotic. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they're called, I think. So, if I do this, uh, no, oh no. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna be called? Chaotic? What if I just type, like, C, K, A, T, I, K, here, okay, here it is, good. I got so scared, I'm horrible at spelling. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and craft a bunch of these. Uh, we're gonna have around about 50, yeah. I, well, I thought we'd have a little more than 50, just 50? I mean, come on, really? I mean, we probably need more than that just to make the armor. Oh, no, we don't. The armor is actually really cheap. Okay, no, that's that's really good. I'm glad the armor's cheap. Uh, so let's go ahead and back out of here, and let's go ahead and see what we can actually make. So first and foremost, we should probably make the armor. Uh, this is really good. 20 defense. We could also make the beetle armor, which does a little bit more defense, but I think the set bonus for this is probably going to be better than the set bonus for the beetle armor. Uh, so let's go ahead and craft the chest plate. Uh, bam. This also does 20 plus max mana and life, uh, which is definitely better than the beetle suit. Uh, let's go ahead and craft the shoes or boots or legs or whatever they are. And, uh, I guess I'll go melee helmet, right? Let's go ahead and find where the- this is the melee helmet. So, uh, bam, let's do that. 
So this already does 25 defense with just the helmet. So 12% uh, increased melee damage and 10% increased melee critical strike chance. Melee attacks and melee projectiles inflict on fire temporary immunity to lava and immunity to fire damage. Uh, you know what? That's pretty cool. And that's just without the set bonus too. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what else we can make. We can make the Chaos Tricks, which is looks like a yo-yo. Uh, it does 221 melee damage and explodes on enemy hits. That's cool. We got the Flame Beak Ham Pick. Uh, that is... Uh, capable of mining lizard blocks. Well, so is this thing, so I don't really need that. Uh, then we can make, okay, bars of life. No, this, well, actually, uh, there's so much stuff I want to look at. So this is just the spelunker effect. It looks like I don't need that. Uh, looks like there's a bow, a sword. I don't, I don't think I need any of this stuff, but I might look off camera and see if anything makes like a really cool accessory. Uh, but this, this is the main thing that we can make. We can now make bars of life. And uh, a lot of the bars of life recipes um, are a bit late, uh, like later in the game. Like as you can see, this uses Luminite, which uh, we need to kill obviously the Moon Lord to get. Uh, but the Moon Lord's not terribly far away. Uh, and then we can make the Omega Biome Blade again, way far away. Uh, some of this stuff, like like this, is just th the end game, like <laughs> the end game bar. We're not gonna be able to make that anytime soon. And uh, yeah, so I don't think we actually need bars of life for anything right now. So I'll probably just hold off on making those. But you know what? The armor set is good enough. I I'm definitely glad we got the armor set. So let's go ahead and put all this off to put that in there and let's go ahead and see what this armor set does so we have 67 defense right now with the set bonus of reaver thorns and you know melee damage increase and all that stuff let's go ahead and put this on so bam 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 uh okay we go up, did we go up one point of defense hold on we, we go up one point of defense you know what it's better than nothing i guess and uh our set bonus is five percent increased melee damage inferno effect one below 50 percent life melee attacks and projectiles cause chaos flame to erupt on enemy hits you have a 20 percent chance to emit a blazing explosion when you are hit uh that all sounds pretty cool honestly so let's go ahead and test that uh that fire blazing effect on these guys wow okay so looks like we already get around 4,000 damage now but i guess it it's really it's really odd so with the with the sword hits too we definitely get 4,000 damage uh, and then with just the projectiles, it looks like we get um, almost, uh, like, almost 4,000 damage. You know what? That's, that's pretty good. That, that, I'll take it, honestly. Uh, so now I guess, I guess we should probably try and fight the Leviathan. Uh, I don't know if we can do it. Maybe I'll fight Astrum Deus first, guys. Uh, I think I might go ahead and do that, because Leviathan is, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, but you know what I think I actually will do? Uh, I, yeah, you, I was gonna say I'll cut the episode and test out Leviathan, but I think I'll just try going for Astrum Deus, or Astrum Arrus, Arrus, I, I don't know, Astrum Deus is down here, but whatever this one is, the, the crab boy, uh, we'll try to go for that one first, and, uh, hopefully we should be able to kill that thing, so, uh, we should have all this stuff to make it, uh, yep, here it is, Astral Chunk, bam, let's go ahead and craft one of those, uh, let's also turn it to daytime, because I don't think it matters when we fight this thing, uh, hopefully I'm not wrong, but you never know. Uh, so let's go ahead and spawn our these boys, and I guess we can just go for it, right? Uh, I'm scared. Oh, let's buff up. Let's also put this thing on just so we can get super fast, like, uh, healing. I forgot the name of it. Uh, health recovery, I don't know. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and do this one more time, too. And bam, no. Oh, it does need to be nice. So it does need to be nighttime, and bam, and here it is. So this is our this is our big crab boy, uh, and hopefully we can take it down right now. Um, I'm honestly I'm skeptical. I don't know if we can, uh, but it looks like we're doing decent damage to it though. Uh, maybe I'll take this thing off so we can get a bit more damage. Oh no, these things suck. I forgot it did this. Uh, these homing things they do so much damage. Uh, so let's hopefully try and avoid all of that. This thing does a lot of projectiles, by the way. Oh god, what was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, this this fight might not go too well, guys. Just saying. Uh, here's the more projectiles. Oh, whoa, what is that? No, what? Why did they? Why did it do that? It curved so weird. Uh, can I can I run away? <laughs> oh god, no. Um, I I don't think we're gonna win this fight, guys. Um, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna cut it right here, and we'll we'll see. I I probably won't. Though. Oh, guys, we actually got that thing really low. So I think the main problem was I wasn't avoiding the projectiles too much in the early fight because I didn't know what was going on. But I honestly think we can take that thing down. So uh, I'm going to give it a few more shots and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can beat that thing. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I actually did it. Oh, I actually killed it. I Sorry, I wasn't recording. I honestly did not think I would kill him. 
So basically what I did is uh, I took off the ninja belt and put on the uh, Asgard Valor because you can actually buy a potion that lets you have all the abilities anyway from this thing. Uh, and then I also turned this thing off, which I can turn back on now. But wow, I honestly, honestly did not think I would actually kill it. Okay, I will, <laughs> I will definitely take that. That is a that is a win. I I needed that. Oh my god, I was getting so frustrated with that boss fight, guys. Okay, so uh, Astrum Aureus, uh, a, t a Titanic cyborg infected w by a star-born disease, expelled from the belly of an ancient god. The destruction of this creature will not prevent the spread of the disease. That sucks, but uh, you know what? It's dead anyway, so it might, might, whatever. I don't know. Uh, then we got the treasure bag. Bam! Let's go ahead and open that. So we got Aureus cells. I don't know how you pronounce that. Aureus? I don't know. Uh, so we got the mask. We got some fallen stars and stardust, and we got Aureus cells. So gives uh, mana regeneration and magic power for six minutes. Restores 200 mana. Increased life regen, and it's 30 minute duration. Uh, but it's also a material for something. Uh, not not tile. So what does this do? Celestial Jewel, uh, boosts life regen even while under the effects of a damaging debuff. While under this effects- uh, while under the effects of a damaging debuff, you will gain 20 defense. Press P to teleport to a random location. That's- is that cool? I don't really know if that's cool. Uh, and then the Star Core. May the stars guide your way. Summons Astrum Deus, not consumable. Okay. I'm- um, I'm scared. I don't- <laughs> I mean, we're, we're not gonna fight him right now, obviously. Uh, we're gonna fight Leviathan first, but, uh, I'm- I'm scared for this boss fight. I don't know- I don't really remember it, honestly. I don't remember if it's easy or hard, so, uh, hopefully it's easy because I don't remember it, but I don't- I don't really know. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff away, and I guess now what we should do is I should get ready to fight Leviathan because- I mean, hopefully we can do that in this episode. I really, I really don't know, guys. Uh, but I guess I'll give it a few practice runs right now, and uh, I'll, we'll go ahead and see if I can defeat this thing. All right, guys. So here we are. We have the unknown entity right here. Oh my God! Can these things stop running into me? <laughs> anyway, we buffed up. So I guess now, honestly, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be terrible. Uh, I say that. Uh, this might be terrible. Uh, so basically, the strategy for this boss fight is you want to take down the Leviathan first. This is the Siren, but you want to take down this big guy Leviathan first. I don't know where he is, actually. He's- there he is. He is huge. Uh, so th this mammoth of a man right here, you want to take him down, and after you do that, the boss fight's pretty easy. Uh, the main struggle is staying alive because all the these projectiles do a ton of damage. Uh, so I think I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to either fast forward or skip through this part, and uh, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, that was... that was bad. So, basically, he started ramming me, and that's... that's definitely new. Like, the last time I fought this boss fight, he did not start ramming you, uh, so that's... that's gonna be... that's gonna be really annoying, guys. Also, this thing I don't think helped at all, so I'm... I'm gonna take that off, and I'm putting this thing back on, because, like, uh, oh my god, what am I clicking? There, so I guess now I'm gonna try this boss fight a few more times, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you, hopefully, for the end part of the fight when I can, you know, take it down, but I honestly don't know if, how long it's gonna take. Oh my god, guys, okay, so I finally, finally managed to beat the Leviathan, and, and now is hopefully the easy part of the boss battle. I gotta just kill the Siren. Oh my, guys, oh. <laughs> Let's really hope I can do this. I cannot do that again. It took me so long to kill that thing. Okay, let's let's hope I can win. Let's let's uh, uh let's fast forward this part. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh my god, I did it! I am- I am not- I'm not- I just- I can't right now. That sucked! That sucked so much! That took so many attempts! I'm- Oh, my inventory is filled with crap! That- oh, I'm so glad I- I'm glad I beat it. Oh my god, I, I put this asphalt down here because that stops some of the projectiles, because if you don't know about this fight, uh, it, it spawns another siren down here that's invincible that shoots projectiles at you from the water, so I put this asphalt here and that helped, that helped a lot, but uh, uh, I need to make sure this is recording, hold on. Okay guys, it was recording, I'm so glad. Wow, I, I am, I am just, I'm tired as hell. Honestly, that took a lot of attempts. I'm so glad I managed to do it. I got so many of these Siren Hearts guys doing that because it took me so many attempts. Let's go ahead and let's actually see how many Siren Hearts I got. Uh, how do you even spell it? Is it side like this? Okay, so I got four. 
I got four more siren hearts. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put all this stuff away that we already seen, like the tier three coins. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's open our treasure bag from the Leviathan. I'm so, so glad I managed to take that thing down. That's like one of my, one of my worst bosses probably. Like I have so much trouble taking it down and we finally did it. So I am really happy. So three, two, one, bam. All right, there we go, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. We got Gunderson's Enchanted Pearl. Uh, increases fishing skill. I, I don't care. Dude, I don't, I don't care. That's fishing. Uh, we got Atlantis, uh, 127 magic damage, casts aquatic spears. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I think I know this. Yeah, this is a magic weapon. I, I already said that. I, I'm, I'm tired, guys. I'm just, I'm done already. <laughs> we got the Masterful Siren Song, which is another magic weapon. It casts slow moving, uh, treble chords. I think that's what it's called. Uh, treble clefts to confuse enemies. That's pretty cool. And what do we get? We got a miniature green tide. Green tide. Uh, miniature that really? Come on. Uh, but summons green blast of water from the sky on enemy hits. That is, wow, that really is small, but that's not, that's not good. That's horrible. And then we got Gunderson's Leviathan Ambergris. Oh, <sighs> you leave behind poisonous seawater as you move. 75% increased movement speed, 10% increase to all damage, and plus 20% defense when submerged in liquid. If you are damaged while submerged in liquid, you will gain a damaging aura for a short time. Being outside of liquid increases all damage by 5% and increases damage reduction by 5%. That's really good. Hopefully, hopefully if I have to farm the Leviathan again, this is going to help a lot. And this is also material. Let's go ahead and see what that's material for. The Amag- um, Amaglam? Amal- Amaglam? The Amalg- I don't know. But this is late game, so I, I just- I don't even want to- don't even want to read it, guys. Okay, so we did not get any good weapons from that at all, which really sucks, because there's a lot of good weapons that you can drop from the Le Leviathan. But you know what? I'm I'm done. I don't. I'm not gonna do it again. At least until we progress a lot and we can take it down a lot easier. Because that is, that fight is so annoying, guys. It's there's so many projectiles. It's so random too. Like the Leviathan, when it starts dashing at you, sometimes it can like dash this way, and then sometimes it can dash this way, and then just like follow you and dash at you again. It's 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 crazy. But I finally managed to do it. I'm so glad. And that is the end of this episode. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this episode was a bit of a shorter one, which uh, is probably good because I've been having a lot of long episodes, so hopefully this is a bit shorter for you guys. Uh, I did manage to do a lot though, we, we managed to take down Astrum Deus, Gollum, and Leviathan. That was three bosses in one episode, that's crazy. So uh, then next episode we gotta take down Astrum Deus, and uh, we're gonna attempt Plaguebringer Goliath, because Plaguebringer Goliath is also another hard fight, not as hard as Leviathan in my opinion, but definitely a, definitely a challenge and maybe Duke Fish runs. So with that, guys, that's going to end this episode. Episode 25, that was crazy. That, that was crazy, guys. And you didn't even see half of it. Like, I, all the attempts I did, all the fights that I had, it, it was a lot. It was it was very tiring. But you know what, guys? I'm, I'm glad we did it. Three bosses. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it. If you like this episode, please leave a like. And if you really liked it, subscribe. It would really help my channel. And that's going to do it, guys. Thanks and goodbye.